Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on impeachment. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And y'all know, I couldn't let this Trump impeachment shit just pass over, you dig? Now, play the first clip. In the Oval Office today, President Trump tried to shrug off the new historic mark on his legacy. Well, I don't feel like I'm being impeached because uh, it's a hoax. It's a setup. It's a horrible thing they did. On Capitol Hill, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is riding high. Seems like people have a spring in their steps because the president was held accountable for his reckless behavior. I myself want to say I have a spring in my step because of the moral courage of our caucus. But Pelosi's not ready to take the next step. She's refusing to send the articles of impeachment to the Senate until Republican leader Mitch McConnell reveals what the trial will look like. McConnell has said he's working in total coordination with the White House. Our founders, when they wrote the Constitution, uh, they suspected that there could be a rogue president. I don't think they suspected that we could have a rogue president and a rogue leader in the Senate at the same time. Democrats pushing for the delay hope it will give them leverage as they demand to hear from top Trump aides the White House has blocked from testifying, including acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney and former national security advisor John Bolton. But the president and his allies insist the speaker is simply scared of a trial. Looks like the prosecutors are getting cold feet in front of the entire country and second guessing whether they even want to go to trial. McConnell has made clear he wants a quick trial and no witnesses. Republicans now accusing Pelosi of playing games. Frankly, I don't care what the Republicans say. So let's get to... Now understand, y'all, this ain't nothing but motherfucking pageantry by the fucking Democrats because they really think that this is going to convince black people to vote for them. Not just blacks, but minorities, meaning the Latinos, because we know most of the Mexicans voted for him too, you understand? And the white women, we know that they majority voted for him too. But they really think that this going to get blacks back on board, y'all. That's why on every news channel, what do you see? Them trying to act like Trump is sorry and he feel bad about this and oh this really hurts him inside now haven't y'all seen that on Fox, ABC, MSNBC and all of them motherfuckers you did the propaganda networks and just for the elephant in the room right now you did we recording from our old setup because something going on with my motherfucking computer while I was trying to put together this video but it's gravy god damn it but what y'all just saw Nancy Pelosi grandstanding like a motherfucker Fucker, you witnessing the rebel network, you understand? Talking about, oh, people walking around with a pep in their step. Is you fucking crazy? Them people doing the same thing they've been fucking doing. Y'all see Mitch McConnell and them. Them people like, you ain't even submit the articles, this, that, and the motherfucking third. So what is you waiting on? And first of all, the Democrats already say, oh, we want to have it out by Christmas like it's some type of Christmas present. Y'all know damn well Donald Trump is not fucking going anywhere. Even my fucking daughter, nine-year-old daughter, walked up to me and said, does Trump being impeached mean he not going to be the president? president i said hell no he ain't going no motherfucking well just like the last president they not gonna vote to remove him or no shit like that that's why i was like man instead of waiting i'm gonna make this video urgently now nah, because people have to hear about it god damn it and people keep asking me about it what you think about that impeachment i think it is complete bullshit and y'all see she didn't even turn in the uh impeachment articles you did what the fuck are you waiting on that's because it's political strategy god damn it all of a sudden, you trying to impeach him during the fucking election season? Get the fuck out of here. And you waited, and you said, oh, we trying to have it out by Christmas and this, down the third. If it's all about being fair and judicial and by the book and all of that bullshit, why is you putting a time limit on it? Why you don't take your time and gather all of the supposed evidence, you did? Talking about, oh, he asked Ukraine to look up some shit about Joe Biden's son. Ooh, big fucking deal. We do not give a fuck, but guess what he not? being tried on and that's that Russian bot shit that y'all keep pushing you understand me you understand me? You witnessing the rebel network. Do you hear him talking about he being tried for Russian bot shit? And a little sidebar while we at that Russian bot shit. Can anybody tell me exactly what the bots said, the supposed Russian bots that's so uh, right, I mean, so convincing to black people? My bad, you understand me? 
what the fuck did these bots say that was wrong? Because if the bots is the ones who told us about Joe Biden 94 crime bill, the bots wasn't wrong. The bots was not motherfucking lying. If the bots is the ones who told us about Kamala record, the bots wasn't, wasn't lying, motherfucker. And plus, when you use Google, the main fucking bot, goddammit, it'll tell you that it's all facts that you know about Kamala, Joe Biden, and the rest. So no matter what the fuck Barack Obama say about you being politically woke because he pissed off understand it's not a bot this is black fucking consciousness but black but back to this motherfucking uh impeachment bullshit you saw how nancy pelosi was oh i don't give a damn what the uh republicans say shut the fuck up god damn it the senate y'all made y'all a dummy i mean the congress one of y'all made you a vote and motherfucking the uh senate not gonna send that shit through god damn it which one of them voted fuck y'all know i watched the shit all day so y'all know i well enough know it just slipped my mind but the other house or the senate is not gonna pass that shit let alone vote to remove trump so quit with the stupid ass motherfucking distraction god damn it joseph goebbels ass motherfucking distraction edward bernays motherfucking distraction propaganda one-on-one -on -one. y'all the dude ain't going no motherfucking well if that's what y'all want to hear because i got to come put this one out and look how they is talking about they so fucking fair yeah she bragging oh people walking with a pep in their step i just saw all people bragging about man trump ain't going nowhere we gonna fight for this bullshit matter of fact y'all let's go to a clip by rachel maddow where she like look why the fuck they ain't turning the papers and shit and your boy like well it's really number drama we trying to get the right fucking uh setting for the trial so if if the trial is so much of a hook line and sinker why y'all trying to uh have stipulations to the trial god damn it why do y'all need stipulations just go by the regular book the same way they impeach clinton why the fuck the democrats gonna withhold the articles of impeachment until they have their way on what kind of trial is gonna be show the clip with uh rachel maddow and what's his face I saw it at that brief news conference that speaker pelosi had with the chairman schiff and other chairman where she was asked very clearly about are you sending the articles over and she would not commit exactly. to even sending the articles over and that fits with what Harvard Law Professor Lawrence Tribe had the case he has been making. He made it in a Washington Post op-ed piece. We know that he has conferred with House Judiciary Committee members and other House members about this possibility of holding the articles in the House until Mitch McConnell agrees to a form of trial that the House thinks is fair. Uh, and and so that's we're in the middle of that drama right now. That drama is yeah. underway. That's underway. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did y'all hear old suit and tie right there? He said when they asked her if she gonna send over the goddamn articles of impeachment, she would not motherfucking commit. So what that tell you? They just trying to draw the long ass process with this bullshit. That way they could try to affect uh, Donald Trump poll numbers or some bullshit like that. Think about it, bruh. Why the fuck would y'all hold articles in, of impeachment until you figure you have a fair trial? And what the fuck is a fair trial ain't there a standard trial that's on the books how the fuck did we find out about bill clinton and the monica Lewinsky dress and shit like that wasn't that presented to us so when you just stick by the fucking standard trial god damn it if you got all the evidence and you all over tv and uh mind y'all they didn't spend over 20 million or 20 yeah i think it was 20 million but last time i checked it was 16 for some of y'all who want you know them exact quotes and shit you could take your ass to cnn but they're spending millions and millions while they be the same ones crying about welfare or social security, taking care of your fucking grandma, getting pills and shit for them. They the same ones crying, yet they got fucking money to pull out their ass, y'all, to spend over 18 motherfucking million dollars. But crying about reparations, boy, they better get the fuck out of here. And what the fuck she said? She would not commit to the bullshit, goddamn. Just put it out. Make it plain, goddamn. And what, what else is silly ass? Say it's basically a um some political pageantry, y'all. Matter of fact, let's go to Hannity fucking uh video you did. As the Democrats, their hyperpartisan bloodlust against President Trump, this will have repercussions and dire political consequences in the end. But not for the president, he will not be convicted in the Senate.
That's where Republicans hold the majority, and that's where you actually will need real fact witnesses, not hearsay witnesses, not opinion people. And get this, we see the beginnings of this demise happening and unfolding right before our eyes. Look at the president's poll numbers. Brand new, USA Today poll shows the president easily defeating every one of his potential 2020 rivals. Another poll, fake news CNN of all places, shows a significant drop in impeachment and support for impeachment. And according to that survey, impeachment is even losing support among registered Democrats. So make no mistake, as Congressman Doug Collins pointed out today, there will be a reckoning. And the good news is, in 322 days, you, we, the American people, we Trump-supporting smelly Walmart shoppers, those of us that believe in God, our Constitution, our Bibles, religion, irredeemable, deplorables, you get the last word in 322 days. Take a look. You are witnessing the rebel network. Now, did y'all just hear what Hannity said? And by the way, don't think for one second that I give a fuck about Hannity, you dig? But his logic is irrefutable because it's the same shit that I say, goddammit. He said they gonna pay for it in the end. And that's because black people don't give a fuck about y'all convicting no goddamn Donald Trump. That's y'all boogeyman. Y'all don't get it? It don't fucking work for us. It's not gonna make us get up and get to the poll to vote blindly for motherfucking Democrats. Do y'all not get it yet? But I think y'all get it. That's why y'all keep talking about that coalition of the fucking unwilling goddamn you gonna get the mexicans who voted for trump and the white women who voted for trump so he right goddamn it they gonna pay for it in the end y'all and he said just what i've been telling y'all what was that the Senate will not convict no motherfucking Donald Trump. It is fucking ran by the Republicans, motherfucker. Y'all know what's popping. You think them conservatives gonna fucking let that dude get kicked out? They love that, boys. You fucking crazy. And look what the polls say, goddammit. Because didn't I tell y'all, 94 fucking Joe Crime Bill over there, he not gonna win. Get the fuck out of here. Bernie Sanders is fucking old and he ain't gonna win. Black people not coming out for y'all. Since y'all can't commit to fucking reparations, we are not committing to you no more. Y'all can see black women is le- You are witnessing the rebel network. Women are leaving the fucking Democratic Party because they see that these people are not going to fucking help them. And them doing all that women's ass kissing, they don't have shit to do with these fucking mother's sons, goddammit. Speak about they sons and fucking daughters because y'all think just because you kiss black women ass and you have all these summits and y'all always saying they so educated, they the main voters because the black men, they ain't a the motherfucking thing. They ain't going to come out just because we on to your bullshit. The women on to it too. God damn it. And they notice they ain't y'all ain't saying shit about stopping their sons from being murdered by these fucking cops for having Skittles in their pocket or a cell phone in their motherfucking hand, god damn it. They see through the bullshit and plus they seeking black news, god damn it. Block talk motherfucking news and news of that sort, god damn it. You witnessing the rebel network. But you heard what the fuck he said? USA Today got a poll that say Trump beating the shit out of all of them, you did. Remember y'all? Just in case, you know, I, I know how some of y'all think, goddammit. You probably think, oh, I'm just saying anything. Nigga, duh, Trump, Trump ain't gonna beat no Joe Biden or one of them Democrats gonna win. No, they not. USA Today ran a fucking poll and it said Trump wins over all of them dumbass Democratic candidates. That mean Bernie and all that better care for all and all of that bullshit. You going down. Elizabeth, I'm the nerd of the fucking Democrats. You going down. Joe Biden fucking mumbling every day and just hugging, hugging niggas, making fried chicken. You out of here, goddammit. Kamala and Booker already goddamn gone. You know ain't nobody voting for Yang, goddammit. He, he could say a lot of shit about what's popping off, what's happening to black people, but you ain't got no scope on giving us shit or doing shit for us, so you can shut the hell up too, goddammit. And if you give a $1,000 to everybody, that don't level the playing field. We still down, goddammit. Everybody else just a $1,000 richer. That's, that's all it is, goddammit, because 
because y'all still gonna go up on the rent every year like you motherfuckers do. And that goes specifically for California and places like New York. Y'all gonna keep going up on the rent and the groceries and the fucking cost of living. So I don't care if you keep raising the minimum wage over $15 an hour and none of all of that bullshit, goddammit. You're still gonna raise the cost of living. So it don't fucking matter. You're not pulling the wool over people's head no more, goddammit. But USA Today said Trump gonna win. And they fucking right. And CNN, the fucking propaganda network, even they dumbass uh, survey said that the um, support for the impeachment is fucking dropping. Support for the goddamn impeachment is dropping, goddammit, amongst Democrats, by the way, because they see it ain't nothing but bullshit and a political pageantry, which I've been saying from fucking jump. And what the fuck uh, Hannity lame ass just said, though? He said that the Walmart shoppers and them deplorables, they gonna show up. And you know what? They is gonna show up, goddammit. And I hope they fucking do because black people will be sitting at fucking home laughing and eating popcorn. I know damn well I will be, goddammit, because y'all really take us to fucking play with. So go see if y'all could convince the moderates and the white women and the Mexicans who supposed to be not voting for him, but y'all voting for the dude because I saw the numbers, goddammit. Don't think you're slick, Mexican. Y'all done got over here and you're trying to lock your other brothers and sisters out. Y'all don't even want them to come over here and get all the little loans and shit y'all get that black people don't fucking get. Soon as y'all pop up, y'all getting a loan for a brand new house. Goddamn. A red truck. You got a lawn service. All kind of shit. But black men, we still, we struggling like a motherfucker and everybody just pointing the finger at us. Oh, it's a victimhood mentality and all kind of shit they fucking throw at us. But y'all can come get a loan and y'all know damn well for that one person. I know you sitting there thinking, well, you could do just what the fucking Mexicans do. You could go down there and you could get along. Are you fucking kidding me? I live in the real world. You think if my black ass go in there, even if I looked all, uh, you know, uh, conformed and shit and go put on a tie and all of that and I go sit in front of fucking Bank of America and go talk to them and be like, uh, sir, you have a, you're, uh, no, collateral, all type of bullshit just to not give me a motherfucking dollar, goddammit. But a person could come from Mexico with no credit, bad credit and all of that bullshit and you hurry up and put them on, goddammit. I don't give a fuck if I got a master plan. Them people ain't giving me no motherfucking loan. And y'all know this, goddammit. But like I said, what they said, motherfucking Trump will win. And don't think that I fuck around with no Hannity. I don't give a fuck about Hannity. I don't give a fuck about Republicans. I'm here for us, and I see through the motherfucking bullshit, goddammit. You gotta be a complete motherfucking fool if you still believe in Democrat or Republican after all of these motherfucking years, and they can barely get a bill fucking just to stop police from murdering people. They can barely push a fucking bill to give everybody health care. You know, they can't push a bill to save their fucking life to really affect change. Get the fuck out of here, goddamn Democrats, boy. They full of shit. So, I just had to come through. My bad, my computer on some bullshit, but I'm about to get that fixed, goddamn it. But I had to speak my mind on this one. I might drop a couple more videos in this format, if possible, you dig? But y'all, don't buy into to this old propaganda about no motherfucking impeachment. He's not leaving, goddammit. Even if by some fucking miracle, the Senate actually votes him out. Even if they say impeach, they not gonna vote to remove him, people. Remember that. If you don't remember shit from this video by BTN, goddammit, remember, he ain't going no motherfucking well. And not only is he not going nowhere, goddammit, but he about to win the upcoming election. And that's because people like me and you gonna sit the fuck home since these people take us to play with, goddammit. Once again, y'all holler at me.